Hi, this is Wes from W Farmstead. So, we get to do a little uh, cutting with a chainsaw today. What we got is, I actually don't know what type of tree this is, but uh, we need to uh, get it cleaned up so that we can uh, clean this area up down here from the rock and stuff because we actually used to mow all this before we had our flood, the flood down here. So, uh, Right around in here, what we're going to have to do is uh, we aren't going to use this for firewood or anything. We are going to cut into the log and we're going to take a look at the log and see if it is, looks like it could be a good saw log. But like I said, I don't know what type it was. I thought it was a white oak at first, but I don't think it is. So uh, I really don't know what it is. But if you come over here, What I'm going to have to be careful of is this tree right here was taken down with this tree. So uh, what I'll do is I'll start cutting from the top down and then relieve the pressure on this and cut this back to here and then uh, see how it goes up. I don't know if there's enough pressure for it to slam or to go flying up, but it is going to release and go up. So I have to be careful, but I'm just going to cut these uh, up here, I'm just going to cut it into like eight, ten foot lengths so it's manageable to grab with the uh, grapple and uh, go over and pile it up so that we can burn it and all. And then when I get down into this part down in here, then what I'll do is uh, I'll take a look and see if there's any good wood that we can use for uh, um, cutting on a sawmill and stuff. So, all right. So, uh, I'm going to use the uh, still MS660. Um, the last time that thing was started was when we did, when I did the, uh, spring cleaning video, basically how to clean it after the season is done. So this has not been used and hasn't been started since. So we'll go on ahead and start it up. Now this one. This one doesn't have the new IntelliCarbs on it, so it's the old type of uh, steel chainsaw. So when you do it, first of all, you pull the trigger, put the knob down all the way. That way the choke is on. So uh, pull the trigger, knob down all the way. So that way the choke is on. This is, uh, I'm doing this to show uh, basically so that uh, our grandkids, if they watch this, they'll know any of these older stills that don't have the IntelliCarbs on it, okay? So, got the decompression valve in, got my foot in, got a chain brake on. All right, so what you do is you pull it until you hear a, uh, like a burp or a pop off. For the engine once you hear that then you go down and you pull the trigger and it goes up to the midpoint on the saw and then you pull it again and it should start right away if you don't do that you can end up flooding these uh stills they're just they're real finicky when they start so okay decompression valve here we go There was the burp. Did you hear it? So I pull the trigger, take it up halfway. Here we go. Okay. All right. Now we'll let that warm up for a minute. Um, Oh, yeah, before somebody gets me, okay, I do have my hearing, huh? Speak oh, so before anybody gets on to me, 
We looked all over the place and I couldn't find my chainsaw chaps, okay? I've got to find them there somewhere. So uh, I'm going to have to take my time and be very careful today, okay? So I got my eye protection and my uh, hearing protection. But I don't have my chainsaw chaps I usually wear. So I know you guys are going to ding me. You know, some people are going to ding me if you're watching this. But we will take our time and be careful. So, all right. So I'm just going to start. What I'm going to do is cut these into uh, eight 10 foot lengths so that uh, from the top coming back towards the trunk so that uh, it'll be real easy to pick up with the uh, grapple over there. Okay? do after I get done cutting I always hit the chain brake on the saw that way if you accidentally hit the throttle it doesn't start spinning and it's uh, safer that way
I think what I'll do, I'll just pull down a minute, go over there and uh, grab the uh, skid loader with the uh, grapple on it and clean some of this up. And then I'll come back to this. Because I can. So, I'm hoping you can hear me because the mic was right by my, on my breast pocket, so, but I'm going to grab the skid steer, try and clean up some of this with the uh, grapple, and uh, at that time, this is almost all the way cut through right here, so I'm going to take and uh, use the grapple and the grapple should push this off of here and release that tree up with the skid steer so see what happens Wedge those and cut all the way through, but I couldn't find my bag with my cap, so I got no way. So that is all. So let's go on ahead and uh, let me see if I can't break them loose with the skid steer. All right. There is something I'm going to have to do coming up. Thank you. <laughs> there is something I'm going to have to do coming up on these on this skid steer, or on this uh, Jenkins uh, skeleton grapple. I need to take these side pieces out so it opens up the mouth of that grapple. Um, it just makes it so much easier without that for grabbing a hold of things. So, all right, let's go on and get this open.
That may be okay for a sawmill this side. Huh. That looks pretty good, actually. You know? How does this one look? This one looks pretty good, too. You know? Boy, you never know what you'll get in a saw or in the way of saw logs until you open them up and look. But those don't look too bad. And they're, they're probably about 14 inches, maybe 15 inch diameter. That one is. And about the same on this one. So, all right. Well, this is pretty much what we're doing. So, uh, I'll clean up the rest of this stuff and uh, we'll go on ahead and close it out. So, if you noticed, I didn't kill myself with the chainsaw. It's a good thing. <laughs> so, all right. Y'all have a good one.